In this short video, we're gonna create this material which gives us the ability to control the rotation of textures. So let's do it. Right click and create a material. Save it, create a material instance and assign it to this simple cube. Let's open the material. I'll hold T on the keyboard and left click to add a texture sample node. Here open the drop down menu and select any of these textures. It doesn't matter which one you select as long as its rotation is obvious. Connect it to the base color to see the preview. Let's set the preview mesh to plane so we can see it better. To rotate the texture I need to manipulate the UV of our texture sample. So hold you on the keyboard and left click to add a texture coordinate node or just right click and search for it. Right click again and search for custom rotator. Drag out of here to here like this and connect the custom rotator to the UV input of the texture. By default there is no change. We can control where the texture rotates around with the rotation center. It's a constant 2 vector. We can edit it so it rotates around where we want, like here, here or here. It's based on the UV map of the mesh and the values are from 0 to 1. Those who have done modeling and texturing are more familiar with it. The default value is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 which is fine. Rotation angle is a scalar value between 0 and 1 and controls, well, the rotation angle. So I'll hold S and left click to add a parameter. I'm gonna name it rotation angle and connect it to here. Then apply and save. And now let's check the material instance. The rotation angle is defined as a value between 0 and 1. It means that 0 is 0 degrees, 0 0.25 is 90 degrees, 0 0.5 is 180 degrees, 0 0.75 is 270 degrees, and 1 is 360 degrees. But what if I want to rotate the texture 22 degrees, or 31.5 degrees? It's possible to change it to a value between 0 and 1, but it's just frustrating. So now let's change the material so we have control over the exact rotation angle. To do that, I'll add a divide node here. Then I'll hold 1 and left click to add a constant. Let's set the default value to 360. Connect this to the B input here. And connect the rotation angle parameter to the A input. Now connect the divide node to the rotation angle input like this. Let's apply and save it. And now we can control the exact rotation angle from the material instance. I've created a free master material with all the functions necessary for your project. You can download it for free on my website. I'll put the link in the description. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new tutorials I'm planning to put here. Also, join our Discord and Facebook community. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now, with all of that being said, I'll see you in the next one.